if pricing can have such a drastic, huge impact on not only the top line, but the bottom line, why do you think that there's not some, there's not a lot of focus on it? You don't see a lot of people talking about it. I think it's a matter of comfort. If you're in this management position, I think what you said before, right? I can, uh, I can grow my company through, you know, a couple of different ways. One is selling more. So customer acquisition, one is reducing costs. The other is optimizing your pricing. When managers tend to look at those options, it feels like the other, the first two are much more tangible and in their control. And that is not as much black magic voodoo. And so they tend to avoid the pricing discussion. Also, we may get into this later, but pricing is one of these areas where, <clears throat> you know, if I'm a making, you know, widgets and I'm the manufacturing manager, right? I have a very uh, controlled uh, span of control over you know, the manufacturing uh, line. And so I can, I'm, fu I'm fully within my rights as a, a senior manager owning manufacturing to do cost control measures. Mm -hmm. When it comes to price, it tends to be one of these aspects of a business where every functional area of the business is a stakeholder in pricing. And without a pricing owner or a pricing process, it tends to end up at the intersection of important and uncomfortable. And nobody is empowered to make a decision, but everyone got, has an opinion. This is another reason the pricing gets ignored is because every time you touch it, everyone jumps on the you know, bandwagon and has their own point of view. If there's no strong leader that has an understanding of pricing knowledge, it's just, all right, well, I'll go back to my domain where I have full control and I don't need to touch that anymore.